So freeze drying breast milk is super cool, but there's not a lot of people that do it and it's not exactly super well studied. But in this video series, I'm gonna show you how to turn this frosty goodness into this powdered shelf stable long-term storage breast milk. So one huge perk or probably the perk my dear husband loves the most is that freeze dried breast milk is shelf stable. I have this little bit of a habit. I, I like freezers and I probably got this from my grandpa because he's got more freezers than I have fingers probably. Maybe. I'm not going to throw him under the bus like that, though. I won't say how many he has. Um, anyway, my husband kept getting mad because I keep plugging in freezers and wah, 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 our electric bill. But what am I supposed to do with my milk? My milk is like liquid gold. I don't care how many freezers I have to plug in to make it happen. So this is kind of like a happy compromise for my husband and I. I get to keep my milk. He doesn't have to worry about our stupid electric bill. We all win. So freeze dried breast milk is actually super cool. Um, when I first started doing it, I wasn't really sure and there wasn't like a how to or any kind of instructions on how to do it. There was a lot of information about it and how it preserves the chemical constituents of the milk as well as the antibodies and the different nutritional components. But I couldn't find anything telling me how. So I actually had to do a lot of research in related items like regular dairy freeze drying and then looked into the actual studies and the methods used in the scientific write-ups um, for the freeze-dry breast milk studies. So that was kind of cool. I did a lot of learning there. Good thing I've got a science background. Um, but it's super cool. As you can see, these are powdered. I've got a four ounce bag here and a two ounce bag here. And these guys are shelf stable. Um, the cool part is, is that these will last long term. When you know what hits the fan, I'm going to be prepared. Uh, this stuff, the, the only real risk is the fats might go rancid after about five, 10 years. But the colder you store it in a, darker, in a cool, dark place, the longer it'll last. I could throw this in the bottom of my freezer or in my basement and it'll probably last the next 20, 30 years. It's super awesome. It reconstitutes really easy and it works. So freeze dried breast milk is actually really cool. You have this shelf stable powder and this is powder. I don't know if you can see it. It's totally powder. Um, it'll last anywhere between 10, 20, 30 years. The only real risk you have with any product like this, any dairy product that contains fat is it could go rancid after really long term storage, but this is still going to last you longer than storing in a traditional upright or chest freezer is going to last you. Um, Freeze drying is the equivalent of drying at minus 80 Celsius. So you've got shelf stable, ready to go powder that can be reconstituted quickly and easily. So freeze drying breast milk is actually a relatively new thing. There's only one milk bank in the world that freeze dries their breast milk and it's located in France, surprisingly. Um, there's a lot of research showing that this could potentially be the future method used by all milk banks to reduce storage costs, reduce shipping costs, and make their products long-term shelf stable. Um, there's one particular study, and I'll link it in the description. Uh, I wanted to read you a couple parts from it. Researchers found that freeze drying is a viable storage method for breast milk, leading to no, no microbiological contamination and no loss of its health benefits for infants. In particular, its antibacterial properties remain uncompromised. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Um, it also stated, freeze drying was indeed confirmed as a more effective storage method than freezing at minus 20 and equally as effective as freezing at minus 80 Celsius in terms of preserving antibacterial properties. Minus 80? Even in Celsius, do you have any idea how cold that is? That's freaking awesome because in a standard freezer, like a chest freezer or an upright freezer, it's only going to last a year before they say that you need to cycle it out and get rid of it. And a lot of women will t turn around and donate it, which is fine, great, donate, awesome. But a lot of people would like to keep theirs long term. And so freeze drying is actually going to give you that ability. Freeze dried milk, this awesome powdered goodness right here, could potentially last you decades. You could feed your grandchildren with it if you wanted to. There's going to be people that disagree with freeze drying. There's going to be people that think this is ridiculous. Why would you spend all this time doing this? But you know what? 
Oops. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Someone didn't like that I was making a video. But, like I said, there's going to be some people that disagree and they think this is ridiculous and why would you... Why would you want to do that? Why do you want to store it long term? Why do you take all that time? They call it liquid gold for a reason, and I'm not going to waste any of it. If I can store it long term and you use it for when you know what hits the fan, all the power to me. This is going to be awesome. So without further ado, the rest of the series will tell you exactly how to do this. So you need a freeze dryer. This is the Harvest Right large home use model. Um, this one has a pump. I don't have the oil free pump. This one has oil. Um, I have a fan set up to kind of keep the motor cooler. This is Harvest Right. Um, you cannot do this in a dehydrator. I've had so many people ask me, oh, I have a dehydrator, how do I do it? You can't. Don't try, it's not safe, it won't work, it won't retain the nutritional value, don't even try it. I know these are expensive, but the value you'll get out of them is astronomical. Okay, let's take a minute and talk about the supplies you're gonna need. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. Um, first of all, you're gonna need heat sealing bags. I like these fancy blue blue ones on Amazon. One side of them is clear so you can see the milk in them. Um, let's see if I can even separate it and show you. See right there it's clear. I like these ones. There's a link for these if you want those ones. Um, you need oxygen absorbers. These should not be confused with desiccant. They are not the same. They won't work the same. You need oxygen absorbers 50 cc. You need a one cup measuring cup. You need a jewelry scale. You need a putty knife, a stainless steel, so it's okay on food, um, a permanent marker to label your bags, a wide tip funnel, and I like to use a knitting needle when I use the funnel just to kind of push it through. And I do sterilize these in a UV sterilizer before I use anything. Um, you don't have to do it like this. You could use a bamboo scoop skewer, but I wouldn't use an old one or use one. I'd make sure it's super clean and then dispose of it afterwards. Um, you need scissors to cut your breast milk bags. You need a scoop to use the powder. You need the four cup measuring cup to put the empty bags in upside down after you open them. And you're gonna need a food scale too because you can't measure the weight of the frozen milk on a jewelry scale. You'll only measure the dry milk on here when you're measuring out your bags. So that's all you need. Um, and gloves, obviously gloves. You wanna keep clean, disinfecting wipes, whatever cleaning supplies you need to keep your sink clean, your counters, that kind of stuff. So, ready to rumble. I forgot, you need Ziploc bags too. Plenty of them because you'll use them for dry powder and the frozen milk. So, yeah, and that's my pump in the background. Sorry guys. Cadet, you also need an empty jar to put your oxygen absorbers in. So, don't forget one of these guys. Man, I really am a space case. I keep forgetting things that you need for this, but I kind of just do it as I go. So that's probably why it was hard for me to lay everything out. Um, you also need these milk trays. I will link these in the description. When you empty the bags, we're gonna put them upside down to drain all the excess milk out. And I usually fill like one and a half of these just with the excess milk. And this milk you would have thrown away in the bag. So these come in really handy to fill the empty space in the freeze dryer trays. So now that we got that out of the way, we're ready to start freeze drying.